the priorities now for the UN are very clearly in this situation to focus on protection of civilians, on human rights, and on helping our humanitarian colleagues to access those populations in need. Clearly, in the present situation, we are treating all sides equally. We are denouncing violations by whomever they are made. We are not cooperating with any side. Clearly, we are in a situation which has nothing to do with that that existed previously. Thank you. Yesterday, the UN mission in South Sudan was finally able to undertake three flights to the city, where it delivered food supplies and medically, uh, and medically evacuated 54 civilians back to Juba. UN flights had so far been unable to reach Bor for the past few days. I'm getting paper from all sides. An, an additional five unmissed flights from Juba carrying food also arrived in the city today. UN agencies will use the funds to improve the living conditions of tens of thousands of people in overcrowded camps. The allocation will also go to air support for medical evacuations and to enable relief workers to reach people in need in places that are inaccessible or too insecure to get to by road. It is now estimated that more than 231,000 people have been displaced since the 15th of December. A further 42,800 South Sudanese have fled to neighboring countries, including Ethiopia, Kenya, and Uganda. 32,000 of them in Uganda alone. 